It's Professor Adam. Let's talk about the crystalline solid state. Lattice energy of a complex MX can be determined using a Born-Haber cycle. A series of individual reaction steps can be summed to provide a value for the total formation energy. The heat of atomization provides for the sublimation of M and the breaking of the XX bond. Ionization and electron affinity energies then provide for the ionic species. These then form the lattice of MXN. The total process is then the sum of the individual steps. This simple treatment might make you think that the lattice energy is simply the sum of the electrostatic charges between the pair. But this is not the case because ions do not simply experience the charge from their pair ion, but rather from the entire lattice. If we take the central chloride ion, then it feels the electrostatic interactions of successive shells of ions that are strongest closest to the ion, but contribute even at significant distances. We can correct for these effects using the Madelon constants. Let's take a simpler example. If we have a crystal of sodium chloride and extend it in one direction, the cations and anions alternate. For a central cation, it experiences coulombic electrostatic attraction from two nearest neighbor anions at R0. It also experiences coulombic repulsion from the cations that follow at a distance of 2R0 and additional attraction from the next set of ions at 3R0, which can be then written as a linear array. This linear array can then be simplified using a Maclaurin expansion. As x is equal to 1, we can simplify the first equation by inserting 2ln2. 2ln2 is then the Madelon constant for this system. In a crystal lattice, particles do not only experience electrostatic attraction linearly, but usually in two or three dimensions. In the case of a two-dimensional lattice, the cations and the anions are at regular intervals on a contiguous square of length r0. Considering a central cation, this experiences electrostatic attraction to four nearest neighbor anions, then on the diagonal we have four cations whose contribution can be determined using Pythagorean theory. These are followed by four cations at 2r0 and eight anions at root 5r0, which continues until a continuum is reached. This is a relatively poorly converging series. In the case of a three-dimensional lattice, if we take a central sodium cation, the Madelon constant is given as the sum of the charges Z at a given distance from the nominal ion normalized to R0. A positive sign means an attractive interaction, while a negative sign means repulsive. The central cation has six nearest neighbor anions, so we have six over R0 normalized to R0, which is one. The next closest ions are 12 cations, who have a repulsive interaction, followed by 8 anions, and so forth. For sodium chloride and other repeating lattices, the Madelung constant can be simplified to a series of distances from the central ion. The Madelung constant increases with coordination number as the most important contributions are from nearest neighbors. We can then add the Madelung constant m to our equation to determine the lattice energy or the net stabilization energy due to electrostatic attraction of one mole of salt. Sometimes m is also written as alpha, where mi is equivalent to alpha i. The Born-Mayer equation corrects for repulsion between near neighbors by using the distance and a constant rho. Let's check for comprehension. 